All right, Coach Howard here, Howard Elite Basketball. Today I got something very special for you guys. Um, today we're gonna be doing it a little bit different. Today I'm gonna be showing you how to become a better dribbler, but today I'm not gonna be in no fancy basketball gym or anything like that. Today I'm just gonna be at a tennis court. The reason why I'm doing it outside at a tennis court is to show you that it doesn't matter where you're at. Long as you're willing to put in the work, you can get better, all right? So I'm headed down to my neighborhood tennis court. I'll hit you back when I get there. All right, so we out here at the tennis court. I'm about to show you how to become a better dribbler. But before we get started, I want you to hit the like button. I also want you to hit the subscribe button. If you have any basketball questions as far as drills, moves, anything like that, you just want to see something interesting in basketball, check my channel. I'm pretty sure I have a video. If I do not, make sure you leave a comment below with any suggestions, and I got you. With that being said, let's go. Shaking. Right, we're gonna start off warming up. We're gonna be doing ball taps. You're gonna be tapping the ball as fast as you can while moving it up and down. Make sure you're using your finger pads. Make sure you're using your fingertips quickly as possible. Quickly as possible. Move from there to ball slaps. You're gonna be slapping the ball hard as you can, getting it in your palms and your finger pads. Get a good feel for the ball in your hands. Next, you move on to figure eights. You're gonna be tossing the ball in between your legs as quickly as possible. Push yourself, go as quick as you can go. From there, you go to ball catches. You keep the balls in between your legs and you just catch it as quick as you can, throwing it up and catching it while it's in between your legs. Put the ball on the ground, then you do figure eights, rolling the ball on the ground using your fingertips. If you see I'm using my fingertips, I'm not using my palms so I can get through there quickly. Make sure you reverse it. I always want to go the opposite way that you went. From there, you go to ball wraps. You wrap around your ankles, then your knees, then your waist, then you get it up around your head. Make sure you come back down with it. Waist, knees, ankles. Once again, you have to reverse it. Make sure you're going the opposite way. From there, we're gonna go between one leg. You're gonna go through your left leg first, going as fast as you can. Make sure you're pushing yourself. Always go as hard as you can go so you can get better. Switch legs. Now you're going around your right leg. Reverse the ball. Always go the opposite way that you went the first time. moving into our dribbling drills <clears throat> and I know y'all wondering what are you doing with a plastic bag well I'm putting the ball in the plastic bag why are you putting the ball in the plastic bag coach just keep watching just keep watching I got you now putting the ball in the plastic bag is going to make the ball harder to grip harder to dribble as an example you're gonna get better at dribbling a little bit faster because if you can master dribbling the ball in a bag, it should be super easy for you to dribble a ball that's not in the bag. Simple, right? So what we're gonna do, get you a Kroger bag, Walmart bag, I don't care, whatever brand you like. Wrap your ball in a plastic bag. Plastic bag. I usually like to do two because they come loose a little bit. I wrap it in two, ba two bags. Then I get started with the dribbling session of the workout. Now we're moving on to actually dribbling the ball. You're going to do pound dribbles. With this, you want to make sure you're dribbling low, pounding as hard as you can with your right hand. Then you move on to pound dribbling high. This time you want to pound it as hard as you can, but you want to get it up high. Then you switch, you back to the low pound dribbles with your left hand. 
pounding as hard as you can, keeping the ball low as possible. When you switch, you're getting it back up high now, pounding as hard as you can, dribbling the ball high. From there, you're doing crossovers, keeping the ball low as you can, pounding it hard, crossing it over, crossing it over, pounding it hard, keep it low. Alright, now we're moving on to the in and out. You're gonna pound dribble hard and then go in and out. Pound, go in and out. And you're gonna switch hands, do the same exact thing with your left hand. Pound the ball hard, then go in and out. Make sure you keep the ball low, make sure you're pounding it as hard as you can. Work, push yourself to the next level. Push yourself. There we got crossover in between the leg, cross it over hard, put it in between your leg hard, pound dribbles. Everything we doing, we're pounding the ball extremely hard. Make sure you switch legs, go to that left leg, pound the ball extremely hard still. Hey, it's definitely hard work. It's definitely hard work. Don't get discouraged. Keep going. Now we're going in between the leg twice, pounding the ball real hard in front of you. In between the legs twice, pound the ball on the side of you. This time we're going in between the legs twice, pound the ball as hard as we can on the side of you. Make sure you're working, make sure you're pushing yourself hard as you can go every time you do it. Now we're switching sides, in between the legs twice, pound it as hard as you can in front of you. In between your legs on this one, pound it as hard as you can on the side of you. Now you gotta add the second ball. Wrap that one up in plastic bag too. Like I say, it don't matter what brand the bag is. So don't ask coach what brand should I use? What kind of bag? Just a plastic bag. All right. Two ball drills coming up. Here we go. Moving on to the two ball drills. We're going two balls pounding at the same exact time. Remember, it's okay to mess up. Make sure you're pushing yourself extremely hard. Now we alternate and pound as hard as we can, dribbling one after the other. We alternate and dribble. From there, we go cross. Okay, we pound at the same time, then we cross them over. Pound the balls at the same time, then cross them over. It's okay to mess up. Make sure you're pushing yourself extremely hard. Reverse it, reverse it. So whichever way you cross them over, make sure you cross it over the other way now. From here we're going two ball juggle. Bounce the ball, push it over to the other hand and bounce it again. In and out windshield wipers, in and out windshield wipers. Now you're going back and forth windshield wipers. You can see these in my Steph Curry video if you need help, more help with those. Now we're moving on to moving with the basketball. Just start off simple. Jogging. Next you go between the leg crossover. Between the leg crossover. You're just jogging it up the court. Getting a good feel for the ball. Seeing how it works with that plastic bag on it. Plastic bag coming loose. If that happens, don't panic. Just take it apart and retighten it. Just that simple. All right, now we're moving on. Double in between the leg, explode out. It doesn't matter how quick you do the in between the legs, make sure you get a good first step and explode out. I always want to practice on making that first step effective. In between the legs, explode out. Next, we're doing ball wraps. You're going to be trying to wrap it around your back. Pound dribble, wrap it around your back. Pound dribble, wrap it around your back. Very simple. Now this is my favorite part of the workout. What you're gonna do is just try to put as many moves together as you possibly can. It doesn't matter if you mess up. You wanna spend about five to 10 minutes on this part of the workout. This is probably the most effective part of the workout. Just put combinations together as quickly as possible. 
Coach Howard here with Howard Elite Basketball. I just showed you how to become a better dribbler. If you like anything about this video, make sure you hit the like button, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Also, don't be afraid to leave a comment below if you have any suggestions about new videos you wanna see on this channel. Remember, there are no excuses now. I told you, you don't need a gym, you don't need none of that fancy equipment. All you need is a basketball and a plastic bag and you can get some reps, all right? That's all I got for you today. Let's go. Shake it.